So this is my new Bosch 800 series dishwasher. Just wanted to do a quick video showing uh, what we get as soon as we get it home. You come around the back this is where they put all of the accessories this is the mounting hardware to put it into the cabinet and the drain tube remember that this clip is not just packaging it's designed to allow you to elevate the hose so that you do not get the backflow back into the dishwasher. Make sure you read the instructions. I believe it's got to be about 20 inches off the ground, um, that loop for the, the drain that is. This just talks about routing the hoses during installation through the right or the left. The loop, I believe, is installed on the left. So if your dishwasher is to the left of your sink, you're actually going to have to ride it through the right, the right, right side so that it goes underneath your sink. Here we have the quick start and safety guide multiple languages service and kind of a welcome letter some warranty information and the full-on instruction manual in English French and Spanish this black bunch here looks like the kick plate that goes on the front one of the last things to install. And this appears to be the power cord. The unit itself comes with a three prong plug. If you need to hardwire it, remember you need that uh, junction box in order to hardwire this unit because on the back of the unit is in fact just a plug. You can see that here on the, the far right. There's no way to directly hardwire that, so you do need uh, the junction box, which will create the, the end that needs to plug into this area. Going across the back of the unit, you can see that it's got this, uh, almost like a tub that works for the uh, leak feature where it will contain it and then it will pump it out. So you really don't have to worry about the leaks with this unit, one of the premium features. Over here you have your water hookup here. Don't forget to get your uh, three quarter inch adapter that does not come with that. Um, in my case, the water line coming in was three eighths of an inch. So I needed a three quarter to three eighths inch uh, right elbow so that you can screw the three quarter part on here. And then it comes off in my case to the right and I'll move this strap from the left of the dishwasher over to the right side. Actually, it looks like there's already one here. That's uh, pretty convenient. I don't have to worry about moving anything. I'll just undo this and route the drain over through this side. Uh, what you're seeing here is just the gear for leveling. Uh, this is controlled on the front of the unit. 
Um, but this is, uh, there's a tube or a, uh, a linkage that works underneath the center of the unit to raise the back so that when you're leveling it, you can uh, do that all from the front of the unit. And that's about it for the intro. I'll do a quick walk around. Remember, this is one of the quietest units available. It's got really thick blue padding surrounding the whole thing. I was actually looking at the 300 series from Lowe's, which is a custom exclusive one to Lowe's. And that doesn't contain any of the padding, which I believe brings it up around 50 decibels, whereas this one is low 40s. And this is part of, I believe, the, the crystal dry heating options. Uh, well, that could be on this side too. We can see this looks a little bit wider, like it's an air duct, where again, that'll start the heating process. Again, real thick padding throughout the whole thing. Overall, it looks to be a very good build quality, and I'm excited to, to get it in. Let's see if I can open the front and do a quick walkthrough. If we come up top here, we see the recessed panel here to avoid the kids uh, pushing on it. Uh, looks like it is 42 decibels. So um, low 40s right there. Um, all the options, including that crystal dry that starts on the 800 series. Inside at the very bottom, you see that they get you started with some of the finish products, which Again, looks to be uh, what they do recommend with this unit. They give you the quantum uh, power ball. I do have a little condensation in the unit. And you can see some of the water spots there. I'm not sure why that would be a little wet. Just brought it home from the store. This is your drain, uh, designed to collect all the particles easily, uh, just taken out and cleaned and rinsed. Take the arrow lines up there to make sure it's locked in. And so here's the rack one. You do have your adjustable tines here. Again, on the 300 exclusive series, to uh, Lowe's that was supposedly not an option. Your center rack here. And this is the one that does adjust up and down. Not sure how that would work, but let's see if I just do that. Not sure, you can see the arrows saying up and down. Oh, there we go. Looks like these just compress and then you, you lift the, the unit up or down there. And then here's the third rack for, you can see it's starting to get a little heavy. That's why you wanna, of course, secure it inside. Uh, it's starting to lean forward a bit. Uh, this is one of the more advanced top racks. Uh, it could actually be adjusted, and I believe this somehow drops down. Yes, so you do get an extra inch or so for uh, cups and silverware, so the bowls can lay flat across the top. And again, you do have the adjustable tines here as well. All right. Well, again, I'm excited to get it going. Looks like they want us to pre-test it and register it uh, with my smartphone. All right. Thanks again and uh, have a great day.